is Alfreda Lavalda. She is just ending her summer at work in a daycare center near her home. Okay, uh, we're so thin, um for the uh, family daycare uh, meeting Friday. Uh, meeting you want to come to my uh, committee at 7.30. And we're ladies still on any out there that are interested in that uh, program. Each year, over 1,200 young Indian students, like Alfreda, leave their homes in 32 different states to come to Haskell Indian Junior College in Lawrence, Kansas. Alfreda and her fellow students represent 100 tribes from Florida to Alaska. When they come to Haskell, they bring with them parts of the Indian experience from all parts of the United States. At Haskell, they retain their cultural ties, but at the same time, they learn the things they need to know in order to make a choice about the way they shall live and how they shall make their living. Haskell was established in 1884. It is located on 320 acres on the edge of Lawrence, Kansas. Haskell became an official historical landmark in 1962. Since its beginning, it has grown from three buildings to over 100 modern structures. Some of Haskell's buildings were constructed by students the Stidham Student Union was built entirely by the building and trades classes. This building is one of the most beautiful on the Haskell campus, and it is the center of student life from enrollment time until graduation day. Other facilities include a 16,000 volume library and five modern dormitories all within walking distance of the central campus. Each dormitory has its own recreation and hobby area. Services to students include counseling and assistance in placement after graduation. During the school year, each student must take advantage of aptitude and placement tests given by the college counseling staff. In order to carry out the many functions of business and industry in this country, there must be highly trained persons to handle the financial, accounting, and administrative details. Haskell Indian Junior College has an excellent business division. There is often a waiting list from business and industry as they seek new and well-trained employees to keep records, to produce and sell products, and to keep track of the money that comes back to the company. More and more young Indian Americans are moving into administrative positions. They are assuming the responsibility for running and operating large organizations. Haskell is where many of them get the training they need to set them off in professional careers. Hello, hey Jay. Students who are more interested in liberal arts will find courses at Haskell to contribute to their academic interests. Instruction includes English and literature. Foreign languages are also taught. And of particular interest to many Indian men and women is instruction in the Indian tongues. 
May I go with you? The Native American Culture Division at Haskell offers the Indian student an opportunity to strengthen his cultural beliefs, his cultural traditions, his cultural values. We attempt to do this by offering a program in which we bring tribal people from the reservations into the Haskell campus to instruct students in areas such as religion and philosophy, music and dance, crafts and manufactures, contemporary Indian affairs, and Indian languages. You know, it's easy to be a white man. You only have one path that you have to walk. But to be an Indian, it's very difficult. For the Indian student has two paths that he must walk all the time. One of those paths enables him to make a living in the white man's world. And this he must do for his children, for his offspring. But at the same time, he has to walk that Indian path. He has to be uh, an Indian within his own community. He has to feel good about the things that are a part of his life, in his heart, and not just in his mind. And we feel that if a student can feel good in here, then he will be able to do well up here by studying those things that are going to help him make a living. Academic and vocational training are important to Haskell students, but of equal importance are social and cultural ties. Haskell is not a place where ties to the old ways are severed. Every season of the year has some special event which serves to recall and deepen the heritage of the American Indian. The campus is a meeting place for former students and the center of annual ceremonial and festive occasions. Haskell is both a center of learning and a center of cultural preservation. In all classes, the instruction is designed to give a well-rounded education, but at the same time, to help the Indian student gain a greater appreciation and understanding of his heritage and what it means in today's world. But in your opinion, in your feeling, I would like for some of you to respond to me and try to tell me the difference. A range of academic instruction is available by staff members who know and understand what the modern world requires. Susan? Students may choose to complete a junior college degree in two years, or they may choose a program to prepare them to enter a four-year college.
some of the more technical aspects of the program at Haskell go hand in hand with academic areas. For instance, students in printing and journalism work together to produce a regular student publication called The Indian Leader. It is published entirely by students and is printed on the Haskell Press. For students whose backgrounds have not fully prepared them for the college experience, there is a special learning center where tutoring in difficult areas is available. Special instruction helps students who may have fallen behind catch up so that there will be no gaps in their basic education. In this mechanized world of machines and structures, someone is always at work designing a better machine or a more efficient structure. Students in mechanical drawing and drafting have access to the best of facilities and the finest in instruction in this growing and demanding field. Students do not live by books alone. Good, well-prepared food is essential to both the mental and physical well-being of a college student. The Haskell Kitchen is well known for the quality and quantity of its food. In addition to providing meals to the student body, the Food Preparation Center is a training ground for students interested in food service careers. Data processing has become a part of nearly every section of our national economy. Again, skilled technicians are required to operate the machines and to make use of the information stored by the computers. But even computers fail and the hundreds of other complex modern electronic and mechanical gadgets need calibration and preventive maintenance. Anything which requires electrical power eventually requires someone to find out what is wrong and how to fix it. These students are working on electromechanical devices and instruments which control, calibrate, and monitor other instruments or machines. Testing then rocks back and forth of whatever selection we have coming out here. We the, the, uh, the and and the or. Right, we have an and or situation. We have a situation where we can have either this signal and this signal operating, or we can put it into an or situation where we have A or B. Well, A or B can come into here then. Haskell is an introduction to new things, rich with tradition, but modern in scope. The Haskell football team has a long and colorful history, and Haskell athletic teams have produced such internationally known athletes as Jim Thorpe and Billy Mills. Football is at the center of the fall sports scene but it is certainly not the only sport or activity. There are 14 different organizations for students. Tennis is a sport which offers competition for both men and women. Like electronic devices, automobiles and trucks require frequent repair by specially trained technicians. The most frequent area of major repair of most motor vehicles is the power plant, the engine. Haskell students learn to completely repair and rebuild both gasoline and diesel engines. And to ensure safety, any car or truck must have its wheels aligned from time to time, and the brakes must be inspected and maintained on a regular basis. Good body mechanics 
and painters are in demand almost everywhere. Learning to weld is one of the most interesting and challenging of the skilled trades taught at Haskell. Many courses at Haskell offer students the opportunity to combine creative, artistic talent with a discipline associated with a technical or scientific project. Other opportunities are open for pure artistic expression or for carrying on a trade or a craft handed down from the old days. Students in creative art have seven different instructional areas devoted to developing the talents of young American Indians. Some students choose to learn both the new and the old ways, using the new ways as this student is with this modern loom, but also using the old ways to preserve traditional skills and at times to do things that have not been improved by progress and technology. Art is a prominent part of the Haskell experience for students. Professor Dick West explains some of the things he feels are important to Indian art and the Indian artists. Well, I hope those uh, prospective students that uh, are thinking of art at the college level uh, would consider what we have at Haskell uh, Junior College. We strive to give them what is theirs culturally in all areas of art, but it's not restricted there. Uh, let's say we expose them to the forms of art that are theirs culturally, but if they're going on to make their way in uh, the outside world, outside of their uh, own cultural background, then we are geared uh, to give them all of the prerequisites, all of the requirements, that will transfer for uh, a degree in fine arts. And that's uh, either as a professional major in whatever area, whether it's sculpture, painting, printmaking, or what have you. Uh, this, I feel, is uh, one of the advantages that we have here at uh, Haskell Junior College, is that it's uh, predominantly Indian. And they're with their own people, and the setting is such that I feel it's, uh, it's inducive, I mean, to their learning process. And we are not short uh, with equipment. These kids go first class and all of their supplies and equipment. So they have everything that would uh, give them the opportunity to become uh, teachers of art or uh, practicing uh, professional artists. Basic science is a challenging field for anyone interested in a career in teaching, in a health-related field, and in many industrial jobs. The facilities here include laboratories for instruction in several courses in biology, chemistry, mathematics, and physics. Students learn the way animal organisms survive and develop. They learn to know and recognize the basic compounds which men use to grow things, to construct buildings, and to make new products. Education at Haskell Indian Junior College is more than instruction and study in vocational 
and academic skills. It is a complete and varied life experience, including religious experiences of various kinds for hundreds of American Indian men and women who come here each year. These students will be the Indian leaders of tomorrow. It is here that they are learning the things they will use to open doors and to make choices about how and where they will live and work. These years are a time for growing and learning and living. It is a place for learning skills and acquiring knowledge to prepare for assuming the responsibilities awaiting them in agriculture, business, government, and industry. The doors are opening. There are many trails to many places for those who have trained and prepared themselves for careers and jobs. Tomorrow is waiting. The faculty and staff at Haskell Indian Junior College invite you to come and join in, to study, to work, to play, to give yourself the chance to choose which trail you will take when you are on your own.